Hello Aquarius and welcome to your coffee cup reading for the week ahead of May 4th through the 10th and this is a very general reading on the plate. Wow, okay. Aquarius, there's many changes for all signs so far. It's been really interesting and these are longer term energies. Let's see where you are at. There is something that you need to separate from Aquarius. This is either something that you've been so fearful of or for some, I have to say, these could be addictions, bad habits, something or a situation or a person that you will need to separate from and some of you are separating from. Uh, for some of you, this could be time off. Um, maybe it's like a job has changed a little or cut or something like that. So I do see something like that as well. For some of you, this could be an agreement, a contract that you did not think it was good for you or a group of people, and it's a time, it's separation. Watch your health and well-being, okay? Um, get the rest that you need. I do see that energy, too. You could be kind of doing too much. Um, I do see also, if you do overdo anything, even physically or whatever, it's like accident prone, uh, watch it, okay? You know, it's almost something like that is showing up, but it is a general reading. Um, there is a rebirthing here. This could be connected to a child or someone younger than you. All right. So there's, there's some thoughts, um, problems or something that's been going on. Um, this is making some adjustments in your health and well being and your everyday activity and your physical body. It's like, uh, dieting, purging, um, eating healthier. Something like that is accented too. There could be thoughts of travel as well. Um, I do see, um, There's like either you're dating or may start talking to someone that you have been separated from too. That's another way I'm looking at this too. So that is showing up and a sense of healing is showing up as well. All right. In the cup here. Well, you have kind of, you may be dealing with people younger than you this week um, or children are present. I'm seeing that. I do see a message coming in or news. Uh, this is either connected to a water sign. I swear I'm seeing water signs in a lot of them. The readings. This could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces, or exhibits those energies. Okay, so I see that energy coming through as well. Um, this is very emotional energy as well. It doesn't look bad. Maybe this is you're missing someone, or someone's missing you. You'll be missing a child, or um, something, or a mother. I don't know, something like that. Mother's Day is coming up, I know. Um, I do see, trust your intuition, your own wisdom, okay? There is something there. It's like you've been holding in. Soul searching is coming up too, but trust your intuition. This could be some delays, but making some kind of, um, there could be some changes and a delay, but I do see happy energy. This could be a gathering, family. Happy, happy, happy is around uh, you. Count your blessings. That's very important. Focus on what you do have, not what you don't have. I do see that energy. There could have been someone that reached out, and this could be connected to what I'm seeing, someone younger than you or something, and you were like, oh, I don't know if I want to or not or something like that. But I do see that energy coming through. Counting your blessings is very important. It's time to make a choice and move forward, okay? Not worrying about uh, how is it, how is something going to happen in a certain situation where you felt left out, cast out, or something like that. Um, it's like mustering up, um, it's like almost, it, it's a heart here and it's telling me, um, kick your pride. Okay. When it comes to love, when it comes to something you want, pride is not important. Okay. We all have to be kind of humble. We all have to kind of, um, sometimes uh, take the high roads, so, something like that. I do see wisdom here and Al again and a heart here in the spiritual area. So that is showing up as well. I do see some money worries or concerns, but have faith things are going to work out because I do see you feeling trapped in some situation, but it's only you kind of holding yourself back somehow because I see you should be moving forward in some um, certain situation. This could be just a lot going on in your mind um, and worries. There is some uh, decision that you're going to have to make. There is some trust issues, and this is also trusting yourself to move forward. So decisions are coming up. It's almost connected to home or family or people close to you, okay? There is someone that you has been around, that has been close to you, that has been like in your inner circle that maybe that's the person you shouldn't trust and maybe the other person you're doubting you should trust. It's almost like a reversal here. So there's a sense of analyzation as well. A lot of thoughts of the future. 
Okay, emotional choice is coming up. I don't know why I'm seeing here some of you are, it's lack of sleep, stress, worry. Um, it's like, it's not worth it. Uh, it's almost like the energy is like, don't put that energy in too much. It's either, you know, make the choice decision and uh, not worry about the future. Think of the here and now. Uh, make those emotional choices that are good for you. Okay, so I see that energy coming through as well. So there is some delays here, and this is more contemplation. Um, reevaluating even your inner circle because there could be either these are children, people younger than you, and they've been really taking advantage of you or trying to kind of, it's almost like mind games or something or trying to kind of uh, separate you from something, but don't allow that. It's almost a sense of manipulation that I see for some of you, okay? So, you know, make those choices, trust your intuition, um, unblock yourself somehow and move forward because it will bring you to some kind of happiness. Yes, there are some concerns with money, I mean, the world, what's going through now, a lot of people, uh, I understand that. But this is, um, so, there is solutions. And uh, for some of you, future, uh, for the uh, you, you have to be a little bit patient in the future. And it's kind of, yes, yeah, stressing you out. I know it's easier said than done, but there is going to be some, you got to trust the universe, uh, divine timing there. I mean, it has your back, okay? It's like an hourglass here. So just making some kind of adjustments and that. And having faith, doing what you need to do for right now, um, watching also, you know, patience and also I see here frustrations. It's going to bring you some kind of luck, though, uh, down the road. You even have luck here on your side. It's almost like a swan. It's like that duck, um, that murder, more, you know, the ugly duckling story by um, Hans Christian Andersen and uh, ends up being a swan. That's the type of message I am seeing here as well, okay? Focus on happiness and um, the blessings that you do have. So I do see that energy. Well, Aquarius, that was your reading. Um, for all the moms out there, I wish you a very happy Mother's Day. Many blessings. And I hope everybody's doing well. This was a reading for the week of May 4th through the 10th. I hope you have a wonderful week. And I will catch you back next week for your next Coffee Cup reading. Until then, all the best and bye for now.